The old Opry started out in 1925. It wasn't called the Opry then, but the WSM Barn Dance. Two years later, it became the Opry, and it's still around. The big stars in the early years were Uncle Dave Mason, Bill Monroe, Roy Acuff, Ernest Tubb. Familiar names to country music fans. Another early star, DeFord Bailey. Mason, Monroe, and the rest are in the Country Music Hall of Fame. DeFord Bailey is not. His name is more the answer to a trivia test than who was a big star. There are some who would say that's not fair, that DeFord Bailey belongs in the primest of times, but at the moment his story is here. Not yet ready for prime time. Correspondent Kenley Jones reports from Nashville. Ready? You all, you gentlemen, ready? Before he died, DeFord Bailey told a friend that he wanted a proper tombstone on his grave. He finally got that during a ceremony attended by musicians who performed with him on the Grand Ole Opry. Roy Acuff was there, and Bill Monroe, and Herman Crook, and the Crook Brothers Band. Bailey was the first and one of the few blacks ever to perform regularly on the Opry. He became known as the Harmonica Wizard. His rendition of Pan American Blues, which you hear in the background, was the first number played on the night the Opry was named. Bailey left the Opry in 1941 after a dispute with management, but he returned for occasional guest appearances like this one during the 1960s. He performed virtually every Saturday night in the first 15 years of the Grand Ole Opry's history, and there is no other performer who even came close to that kind of record. David Morton befriended Bailey during the musician's final days. He died last year at the age of 82. It was Morton who arranged for the tombstone and who has arranged for the Country Music Hall of Fame to receive some of Bailey's personal possessions, including the megaphone he used to amplify his harmonica during Opry performances. But what Morton and some other country music fans and entertainers really want is for D. Ford Bailey himself to be elected to the Hall of Fame, to take his place alongside the other pioneers of country music. Do you think he should be in the Hall of Fame? Yes, I do. Yes, sir, 100 percent. If his name is ever put on the ballot, you'll have one from Roy Acuff. I promise you that. Thank you all. Herman Crook said he chose his favorite sacred song, Amazing Grace, to conclude the graveside ceremony. Several longtime Opry stars said D. Ford Bailey was always a favorite with audiences during his years on the show, which makes him even more acceptable as a candidate for the Hall of Fame. Kimley Jones, NBC News, Nashville.